Welcome back to our elementary Latin course. We're in the book Minimus, and we are ready on page 8 for chapter 2. Food, glorious food. All right. First, actually, let's look at page 9, and let's uh, say our vocabulary. So first, a hua. Repeat. A hua. That's just like, oh dear, or phew in English. Wila means house. Sordida means dirty. Hortus is a garden. Squalidus is messy. Tunica is a dress. Fesi tired. Oiga is hooray. And miles is a soldier. All right, back on page eight. Uh, after the lesson, when you get to, uh, when we're done with the lesson, you go back on page nine, copy all that vocabulary into your notebook in one column and with English on the in the other column, as always. But on page eight, we read, the governor is coming. Flavius and Lepidina have received a letter telling them that Marcellus, the governor of Britain, is coming to see them at Windolanda. The family prepares for this important visitor. So on panel one, I'll read what the character says, and then you read it uh, uh, in Latin, uh, repeat, and then we'll translate it. Ehua, wila sordida est. Ehua, wila sordida est. Wila sordida est. And that's, the house is dirty. Right. Ehua. Hortus squalidus est. Very good. The garden is a mess. Ehua tunica non pulcra est. Very good. The tunica, the dress, is not pretty. Okay. And then Lepidina tells Candidus to clean the house and tidy up the garden. Then he must cook a magnificent dinner. Corinthus must order a special dinner service from Londinium, and he must buy the best wine. And you can, can you guess what town Londinium is? What town is that today? It was a Roman town. What is it? London. Londinium, London. All right, in panel five, the slaves say, Ehui, servi fessi sumus. Servi fesi sumus. We slaves are tired. And then, oiga marcellus miles optimus est. Oiga marcellus miles optimus est. Uh, hooray, marcellus is the best soldier, he says. And then Minimus says, oiga kibis optimus erit. Oiga kibis erit. And the cat says, Oiga, minimus obesus erit. Oiga, minimus obesus erit. The minimus will be fat, says the cat. So he's excited. The mouse will eat the food and get fat, and then the cat will eat the mouse. That's what he thinks. All right. All right, on page nine. Why do you think that Lepidina, Flavius, and Flavia are worried about the governor's visit? Remember that Marcellus is in charge of the whole of Britain. Right, as well as though they want to impress him. He's the governor. He's the man who is uh, Flavius' boss. Why are Candidus and Corinthus not pleased about it? The slaves, Candidus and Corinthus, why are they not pleased? Why aren't they happy? What do they have to do? They at least twice as much work, right. Why is Julius excited about Marcellus' visit? What does Julius think? Well, he's excited because he thinks he's a great soldier, and so he wants to hear all his stories and everything. And why is the visit good for Minimus? What does he get? Ah, oh, to eat all the table scraps. And what about Wibrissa, the cat? Why is she excited? To eat the mouse. To eat the mouse, right. All right. All right. In chapter one, you learned that a noun is a naming word for a person, a place, or a thing. Our writing becomes much more interesting when we describe the nouns. 
The words we use to describe nouns are called adjectives. The word desk is a noun because it's a thing. You might describe it with an adjective like new, old, wooden, scratched, big, or rectangular. Nouns which end in a are called feminine nouns, like wheela, tunica, and the name flavia. Nouns which end in us are called masculine nouns, like hortus, and the name flavius. Have another look at the picture story. Lepidina describes the house as wheela sordida, the dirty house. Flavius describes the garden as messy, hortus squalidus, the messy garden. Now can you see that the ending of the adjective matches the ending of the noun? So if your noun is feminine, the adjective will be feminine, wheela sordida. But if your noun is masculine, the adjective will be masculine, hortus squalidus. So look at picture three. Which Latin noun means dress? You remember which Latin noun mean, meant dress? Tunica. And which adjective describes it? Pulcra. Are these two words masculine or feminine? Tunica and pulcra. Masculine or feminine? Feminine, because they have that aw ending. Very good. All right, so far for uh, this much of chapter two, what you want to do is make your vocabulary cards, those nine words at the top of page nine, and have those ready to go and continue to study those. And when you look at nouns and adjectives, you can now know if they're either masculine or feminine. And that uh, takes us up for uh, this part of our lesson in Minimus.